probably go back to my conversion, which was in college. I was a junior in college, and uh, an evangelist came to my dorm and uh, was teaching a Bible study. And, and it was there that I understood that Jesus Christ died uh, for the sins of the world, and he died for my sins, and I could have eternal life through believing in him. Uh, I didn't have a lot of discipleship after that, so uh, I had a lot of questions, a lot of doubts that probably lasted 10 or 15 years at least. Uh, and the more I would study, the more it would seem that I would come up with reasons why I would doubt. Uh, but it was about uh, the mid-80s, 1985-ish or so, that I had a pastor who started explaining. He was free grace and was explaining the distinction between believers and disciples and how uh, believing in Christ uh, was a free gift and that discipleship was very costly. And I remember him asking, going through uh, a chapter in Luke and just asking the congregation uh, something to the effect of, um, are all believers disciples? And kind of going through that. And so once I started to see the distinction between a believer and a disciple, first it started to make sense about how you could be a believer, uh, but uh, still uh, there were warnings uh, about discipleship. And First John gave me great difficulties. I then began to realize how First John could fit if, if First John was talking about fellowship. And so um, uh, that was my uh, association initially with free grace. And from there, uh, it's made the Bible much more easy to understand. Much uh, I can see now that the Bible does not contradict itself uh, in places I would have thought that it might have. and has built my faith just in the Word of God. And, and that uh, Christ's free gift of eternal life is uh, something that I can rest upon, that it's his faithfulness to keep me and not dependent upon my being faithful to the end. Well, my level of confusion would be extreme. I mean, I would say I resulted in, in, in depression and uh, isolation and just, uh, just really realizing there were certain people that seemed to have confidence uh, assurance that they had eternal life, and I knew there were verses like 1 John 5, 13. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God and know that you may know that you have eternal life. And uh, I just really wrestled with why I didn't constantly just have the assurance. And uh, this caused me great distress, really doubted whether I really was a Christian, and then would read warning passages in Hebrews that would just terrify me, actually. So um, uh, my confusion and, and unrest was great prior to... Um, uh, the free grace position and, and starting to understand uh, that, that salvation was a free gift. It wasn't up to me to keep my salvation, that my faith did not have to be perfect, that I had a perfect Savior and that He is faithful and that He would keep me to the end, that uh, uh, my simple trusting in Him was all it took to have everlasting life. So it was a great feeling of relief and a great feeling of rest.